It's February 2022 and I'm getting started on a project that I've had on hold for a long time and I decided I would document the process from here on out. I started gathering parts for this thing years ago and I haven't really touched it since about 2015 so I'll show you where I left off and what the plan is. My goal here is to build a truck that looks like a 40s Dodge Power Wagon but with more of a modern drivetrain that can comfortably do freeway speeds and still be really reliable and capable off-road. And eventually I plan to have some kind of a lightweight camper on the back of this truck. I didn't start with a complete Dodge Power Wagon truck. I've pretty much collected all this stuff one piece at a time and you'll notice all the sheet metal is different colors and that's why. So this cab I'm using is a 1941 and the frame and front axle is from a 99 Dodge 2500 diesel pickup. It was a quad cab short bed. I believe it's a 131 wheelbase. The rear axle is a 2001 Dana 70, so it has factory disc brakes. And I have 410 ring and pinion. So the engine I'm using is a Cummins 4BT turbo diesel, 3.9 liter, which I believe is 230 cubic inches or close to that, which is what these trucks would have used originally, except gasoline inline six cylinder. I'm gonna be running an NV4500 five-speed overdrive transmission behind the Cummins with a Northwest Fab planetary underdrive behind that and a new process 205 transfer case behind that. So I'll show you a little more detail on that stuff. So the engine is in the truck. I've had it running and I had started the mock-up process of determining where everything needs to fit. I put some new gaskets and seals and new bearings in this engine. So my original plan was to use this Getrag G360 in here. And this is a first gen Dodge diesel transmission in a second gen chassis. And one reason I decided to switch to the NV4500 is the front drive shaft on a second gen chassis ends up being right where your clutch slave cylinder wants to be. I've got the engine sitting off to the side right now just to see 
what it would take to make it fit. And also the starter ends up being pretty close to the front differential at full suspension travel. So I'm gonna switch this transmission out. I've got a bunch of parts to build an NV4500. I've got a South Bend clutch in there. And then I've got this Northwest Fab two-speed planetary underdrive and the Ford style NP205. So just got to build a new transmission, swap everything over. This cab's been painted a few times. It's pretty colorful, but it's really solid. There's very minimal rust on it, especially for the age. So I've been shopping in my shop for parts that I've had squirreled away for years, getting ready to do this project. This new Venture 4500 is out of my 98 and I took it out after I lost fifth gear twice and replaced it with an NV5600 six speed. So time to put a new shaft and bearings and all that in it and it should be fine behind this 4BT. It'll never see the same torque or GVW as it was seeing back then in my 98. So I gotta get all these parts cleaned up. Got a power steering pump, got a starter that needs rebuilt, AC compressor, fan hubs. Years ago when I was putting this together, I built these mock-up engine mounts that are adjustable. So they should be out of the way for when I build my permanent mounts and design all that stuff. But it allows me to set the engine on the frame, adjust the height up and down, slide side to side and all that. I'd probably do them a little different if I was doing it again, but they work and they would work on a 6BT too, which I will probably use them for that in the future. Then my permanent engine mounts will be back here on these four bolts. I was gonna bend that over just a hair so it would clear the starter and it just snapped off. So, gotta get in there and hopefully get that out of the block without having to remove the oil pan again. I really don't wanna do that. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna make a little custom puller tool out of this pin and put a slide hammer on it. See if I can get it out of there. <laughs> 